Hey, how's it going everybody? In this video, we're going to check out the state of GitHub Copilot for PyCharm. So as most of you know, GitHub Copilot is being developed by Microsoft and they also own VS Code. So it only makes sense that GitHub Copilot is being developed VS Code first and all the other editors come second. And that is also the case for PyCharm because even though GitHub Copilot exists for PyCharm, the state of development isn't as advanced as it is in VS Code. So there are going to be a couple of shortcomings which we'll look into in just a moment. So if you have not yet gotten GitHub Copilot for PyCharm, all you gotta do is go on File, Settings, and then in the Plugin section, you can go ahead and search for Copilot. And as you can see, I already have Copilot installed, so that's nice. And one of the first things that you'll notice is that one of the key features that you have in VS Code is missing in PyCharm. So if you go onto the sidebar, this is where you would, in VS Code at least, have a chat window where you can chat directly with um, GitHub Copilot. So over here, this is still in private beta. This still does not exist. And this is one of the sort of main features that you do have in VS Code. So in VS Code, you can go ahead and ask any question in the sidebar, such as what is a string? And then subsequently, it is going to give you an answer. Uh, another thing that I really like about the VS Code implementation is that you have these agents. So for example, if I write at VS Code, I can ask any specific question relating to the editor VS Code. For instance, how do I change the theme? How do I change the theme? And it gives me an answer with a um, function that I can go on to that directly change the th that changes the theme. So for example, over here, you can see it sh um, has this button, show in command palette and it directly navigates me to the marketplace for themes, which is super nice. And then I can, you know, flick through these individual themes, allowing me to change them. So both of these features are not yet implemented in the PyCharm version. So you will not have any possibility to access the um, agents. Um, so something along the lines of at PyCharm, change theme uh, will not work because the sidebar and the chat window have not yet been developed. But let's take a look at some of the things that do work. So what does work are the regular sort of code suggestions that you would have. So if I'm going to, you know, make a function that calculates uh, the days between two dates, I can write something along the lines of calculate days between two dates and then after I define a function it is going to give me a suggestion. Now one thing that you have in VS Code is that you can hover over the code and it gives you different suggestions. Now that does not work so you can see that I'm hovering over the code and it doesn't seem to be giving me any other suggestions. Now if we just go ahead and call this function that I just created so let me make a comment and call function, um, then it's going to suggest this um, print statement that calculates the difference between two dates, which is exactly what we want. And we're simply going to run it. And you can see that it gives me three days between these two dates. So that's um, correct. But um, if I go ahead and make a mistake in the code, so let me just take out one bracket, this is going to give me an error. And then if I go ahead and try and run it again, it is going to give me the syntax error. Now what's nice in VS Code is that you have the um, terminal fix it function that gives you this small sort of icon next to the syntax error and it fixes it for, for you when you click on it. So you don't have that in PyCharm yet either. So as you can see, there are still quite a few things that are missing in the PyCharm version of GitHub Copilot that you do have in the VS Code version. Um, I hope they implement it soon. Personally, I just prefer coding in Python and uh, VS Code isn't the editor that I would usually go to to code in Python. And one thing that I do want to point out is at the bottom over here, it says that there is an update for GitHub Copilot. Uh, I don't know why the message is stuck down there, but I do have the most recent version as of today. So um, all the information that you got is recent. <laughs> it's just that I just noticed this message. All right, so we're gonna leave it at that and yeah, see you in the next video.